The first parts I want to worry about are the header and the footer. These are the easy parts. Let's get these out of the way right away. So go into source and under app, we're going to go app component.ts. And this is where we're going to do most of our work is the app component and all the generated components we have. So let's remove this and then I'll add a comment here for header. And then the router outlet is where all of our pages get output. So we'll keep that there. The Angular CLI did that for us when we started our app with routing and uh, routes get injected here. So that is going to be where our home page, our about page, our contact page, all that gets put out. And we're going to have a footer here. And notice I'm using HTML comments inside of our template. So here, let's use the Bulma classes. We have div class navbar. And then inside of that, we're going to have the logo. And I like, really like commenting out my HTML div class navbar brand. And if you're wondering where all these classes are coming from, you can go to Bulma. Let's go take a look. Bulma.io, under docs, under components. And this is just because I've used it so much that I know where most things are. But you can browse around overview, modifiers, columns, layout form elements. But components, where we have our navbar. So we'll open up the navbar. We'll take a look. Navbar brand. And there's good examples here. And you can just copy and paste whatever you need. So if we go down navbar menu, this is kind of the whole menu. Uh, let's go a little farther. Here we go. This is closer to what we need. So you can show that code. And it's a little bit extensive since there's drop downs and these two buttons on the right. We don't need all of that. So we're going to go over here, navbar brand. And then we're going to say a class navbar item. And then here we're going to say my logo goes here. Let's take a look at our app. All right, that works. And let's split this out to the right again, to the left, close that sidebar. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a dark background to this. So let's say is dark. And that's how Bulma does things. It uses the is prefix to kind of modify. So there's is dark. Now let's worry about the footer. We're gonna say footer dot footer. And then inside of this, we're going to have a container. And let's give it some content has text centered. These are some Bulma classes to get a little bit better styling. We're going to say P class made with, and let's do a heart emoji, heart. Uh, let's do made with love by Chris from scratch. And there's our footer. So notice the Bulma classes of footer and navbar make it pretty easy to get what we need for our application. Now that's great and all, but as we start building out our application and we start adding more, let's say we add links here and we'll go links and then it just starts to get larger and larger and maybe we have a drop down. Our app component starts to get really hairy and kind of confusing to read. So the way things work in Angular and a lot of these modern JavaScript frameworks and libraries is we're going to build out components for each part of our application. So let's build out a header component and a footer component. Now, normally you would go in and create a new folder, new file, and say header.component.ts, and then you would register it in the app module, and then you would build out this component decorator, build out your home component class, or sorry, header component class. But the Angular CLI does this all for us. So we're going to go open this up. I'm going to open up a new terminal here. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so let's do ng generate component header. And as soon as I press enter, check this out. We're going to create a header.component file. And then we're going to update app module so that app module knows that this header component exists. So let's close the terminal. And let's save this. We'll close that. So we'll open up this header, header component.ts. Now selector is here, app dash header. We have our template for header works. And then we have our header component, which is the JavaScript part of this. So that's our whole component, right? Template styles, JavaScript class, and then custom selector. And this is very similar, loosely based off of uh, web components. That's kind of how things work. Selector, template styles, JavaScript. 
our app module under declarations, which is where you put new components. We have our header component and the Angular CLI did the import for us as well. That's really great because that's a lot of boilerplate that we don't have to worry about all these imports, declarations for header components. And then now let's go into app component. Now, since the Angular application knows that we have this header component registered, that's because it is registered in app module, we can start using that custom selector. So if we go app header, and then let's cut that out for now, save, notice header works. And that's what's coming from our header component in the template. Very nice. So now let's paste this into the header component template, save that. All right, here we go. Now our Header works again, but if we go look at app component, we just have this app header custom selector. Now this is really cool because if this was a reusable component, we could use this in multiple places. So we can say app header, and then let's do app header down here. Oh, check it out, we have two, but let's move that down. And that's the cool thing about components is reusability. Instead of having to copy that HTML text everywhere we go, we could just put it in a custom component and then use that component wherever. So let's go ahead and create the footer as well. So we'll save, open this back up, ng. And I wanna show you a trick here that's really cool. Instead of generate, you can just say g component footer. So g is an alias for generate. And my screen is getting a little cluttered here. Let's take a quick detour. I'm gonna close the status bar. So we'll close that. And we'll close the activity bar, which is that giant bar on the left. Okay. So now we have our footer component. It is registered in app module and we can use it. So let's cut this all out. We'll say app footer. And then under footer, footer components, let's paste that under the template. And everything works the exact same, but our now our app component is very clean. App header, router outlet, app footer.